Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Trigger Edge Tactile, back with another unboxing. This is the uh, Apocta box. We are still doing last year's boxes. This is December's 2021 box. We're almost there. Almost there. I think I have maybe four, five, one, two, three, four, five, a few more boxes. A few more boxes left to do some unboxing, and then we'll get some, we'll get to the this year's stuff. Um, this is all last year's boxes. This is Apocta box, December uh, 2021. And let's see what's inside. Pocto Box has become one of my favorites just because um, it teaches you the skills. It just doesn't, it's not a box full of just survival gear. It actually teaches you, gives you kind of like a blueprint in your mind how things are supposed to be set up. And uh, that way, if you do need that type of, uh, if you do need that uh, type of experience, you'll, you'll, um, what is this, a hacky set? Kind of cool. All right, let's get to it. This is the um, Apocalypse Box Survival Skills Challenge. Um, this box. Is kind of... Okay, uh, it says natural dyes for many exciting partners. With hmm. we'll get to that later. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Natural husk from black. Oh, okay. It's a warning that it's telling me that there is something with uh, black walnut husks in it. Four sack towels. Oh, that's that's kind of interesting. Let's see what we got. All right. First of all, we're going to start off with the um, Mr. Meyer Force knife. I'm not sure which one that is. Again. Like they don't have these things labeled, or they didn't have pictures on this, so I could see what is what. Um, looks like this one, Imperial Shade. No, it might be this one. There's two knives in here. Oh, what is this? We get that. Um, tiny first aid. Oh my gosh, I think this is what they're what they're. Okay, so the, here we have a burlap sap. Looks looks kind of like a, well, it's a regular burlap sap good for it's october halloween time you can make a uh, scarecrow wouldn't that be kind of cool anyways uh this is what the warning is about oh okay okay because it does have sharp edges uh that's what it's warning you about i got gotcha. you okay so this is what the warning is uh is about I don't know what that is I'm thinking of some kind of cooking utensil or something let's check it out uh, Viking wood stalker needs a good knife um, we've illustrated I, I I think this is what we're talking about the um, forest knife I'm pretty sure handcrafted So here we go. Yeah, so this is pretty much a um, uh, forged knife out of, I'm not sure what type of steel. I was trying to read what type of steel it was made out of. Uh, hand forged. And it doesn't say illustrate 40. Oh, they do have pictures on this one. My mistake. Um, yeah, it doesn't tell me. It just says that... Uh, and I like this this uh, little Kydex sheath that comes in. I mean, you could, you know, put uh, five foot uh, paracord on there and uh, strap it on. I kind of like that. Um, I'm hoping that that's what we start off with because that's what I'm showing you right now. The next is going to be um, handcrafted forge. This must be it. So this is a a cooking utensil, or not a cooking utensil, but something that you would uh, brew tea bake breads, make warm sandwiches, whatever you want. You just build a fire, small fire, and you put this over the small fire, and uh, that's how you <laughs> keep your your um, food warm, if need be. I like that burlap sack that it comes with. Uh, next up, we have... Um, I don't even know. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Um, I don't want to butcher it. Um, I don't know if you guys can read the bottom 
Scandinavian, Scandinavian, Kuska, Kuska. I'm I'm bad at at foreign languages. All right, that's not my strong suit right now. So, um, but I am getting better. Uh, I know it's from Scandinavia. So, if any of my readers know what that is, which uh, scoop? It's. I mean, I know it's a scoop. I know that much. Um, this is it. Oh, okay. I've had one of these in one of the past boxes. I get you. Okay. Uh, and it is exactly what it says. It's a scoop um, made in a Scandinavian way. Out of wood. So you could drinks help cook. Uh, next up we have... The pocket field guide, which this would be it. Um, Creek Steward. So if you guys don't know who Creek Steward is, that's the guy who does the who uh, has these boxes made. Uh, he is a survivalist, uh, well-known survivalist. He's wrote several books. He's have uh, uh, several shows. Oh, Merry Christmas! Oh, and I get a Christmas card from last year from Creek and his family. Oh, that's cool. I wish I were to open this last year. Well, Creek, if you're watching this channel, thank you so much for the Christmas card. That is awesome. Um, last year. Last year's Christmas card. On with the show. So, uh, that's who Creek Johnson... Uh, uh, Creek Johnson. Yeah, whole nother Creek. <laughs> this is who Creek Stewart is. Um, so... And he, he goes step by step and shows you how to, how to create... Uh, items out of nothing and make it uh, useful to you if you're ever stuck out um, and needing some survival uh, knowledge. Next up, that's what I like the most about this box. It teaches you things. It doesn't just throw little gadgets at you and call it a day. Um, the Ultimate Survival Tipsy Tiny First Aid. Okay. First aid is is sequential when you're out in the uh, in the elements. Uh, you got to have some type of first aid kit with you if you're going to be out for a long period of time. Anything can happen from you know animal attacks to um, stumbles. Might have uh, break a uh, ankle, sprain an ankle real good, and you're going to need some type of uh, first aid. So I'm I'm all about first aid. Um, the hacky sack. That's exactly what this is. It's a hacky sack. Oh my gosh, I haven't played hacky sack since the 90s. The early 90s. And I'm giving my age away, but yes. This is awesome. Looks like I'm going to start, start back up on this hacky sack. Anybody else out there play hacky sack? Let's do it. Uh, next we have the Imperial Shred. Okay, that's the rescue knife. Um, and it is a professional cutting tool <laughs> it's a professional cutting tool so it's not only a knife like i'm gonna use the knife that i got to open the other knife that i'm getting how about that now i got some nice little blade on it that is sharp i don't like that We've got here is a so the difference between the rescue knife and the other knives is you see the age the age the age on this knife i'm thinking about my own age so old right now um so <laughs> i'm thinking about the uh the edge not the age of the knife but the edge of the knife uh you know what i mean um so it uh it'll cut through uh rope and it'll help cut the the way that it is made it helps with a saw action on um uh, certain harder elements like wood or something so if something's stuck up that you got to cut away um it's supposed to do a little better than just having a flat blade um but that's that okay i'm digging this i like this box I, i've been liking uh apocta boxes uh, next up, we have Soapstone Steelmaker. Uh, 
is this? Oh, no, that's the tusk, walnut tusk die kit. Okay, so it might be this little gadget. I don't know what this is, the Jameson. Okay, we got a rope. We got a rope. Master mirror knife. Oh, okay, this this goes with the knife. The knife that I just used to open this. Uh, okay, this is cool. I, I like this. I thought this was just a knife, but it's actually giving you instructions on... Uh, on how to how to use it in different ways. Uh, well, no, no, no. I'm sorry. It's how to wrap the handle around it. I was wondering about, you know, I thought maybe it's just a forged knife that they sent. Uh, kind of like a. Um, oh, I have one right around here somewhere. It is a uh, blacksmith knife, um, and I have a blacksmith knife here that I got last year. And I got to polish this up. It's been out in the elements and I haven't had time to polish it up. But yeah, this is the Blacksmith knife. It is, um, um, it's not coated. That's why you see the rust marks on it. Uh, but I am working on it. Uh, I got this about two years ago. A little Blacksmith knife. I've, one of the, uh, one of the little shows that comes around town. Uh, anyways, that's what I thought it was. But it actually shows you how to use the paracord to make a grip for your knife. Step-by-step -step instructions, which is kind of cool. I don't know if I'm going to make a video on it, but I am definitely going to do that. Definitely going to do that. So next we have... Anyways, yes, the Black Walnut Husk Die Kit. All right. Allergen alert. Potential tree nut allergen. This kit, con this kit contains black walnut holes. Okay, so if you're allergic to nuts, don't, don't open that. Oh, I didn't see what this was. I'm not sure what this one is. Oh, sharpening stone. Okay, so that's what this is. This is a sharpening stone. Uh, you just pull it out and uh, kind of use it to sharpen your blade. Okay. Cool little gadgets there. I like that. Now, and back to this coloring walnut. Whatever. Um, so, what I got here is... Um, Tails to use. Okay. So back in the pioneer days, apparently they used a cotton flower sack, black walnuts, safety. Sorry, I'm trying to read this to see. So I'm hanging loop closer to the order. Oh, this is just telling me. To be careful because it's a walnut allergen. Okay, I, I get it. I get it. There's walnuts in it. Um, so this is the way that uh, cotton is actually dyed is through this. Not like death dyed, but color dyed. Uh, so you get, um, I guess this is how they dyed a lot of their uh, clothing. In the pioneers which is interesting I and mean, that kind of stuff is like interesting to me um, but anyways yeah it shows you 
uh, little ticks and tibbets. So if you need to have something dyed, something colored, um, while you're stuck waiting for help to get to you. Or if you don't want help to get to you, you just want to live off the land and want some, I don't know, something to do. And that is my time. My time is now up. That's my little alarm. All right. That's what we get with the uh, Apocalypse box last year. Okay. I'm done. Trigger this tackle out.